Uh, okay, so switching from global trends, we actually dug deeper and found industry Canadian specific trends. So most of our customers that we deal with are actually in the Canadian marketplace. So we figured that we try to find some information that is more relevant to our marketplace because that is actually a little bit more difficult than you think. <laughs> so finding information is generally usually kind of catered towards global or North American perspective. But by this uh, IDC research, we dug in with them a little bit more and found out by 2021, which is this year, more than 75% of Canadian organizations will adopt some sort of an on-demand infrastructure how public cloud users move to high so a lot of customers that we see are either engaged in public cloud or they will be adopting it because a lot of the different reasons for that is because of the subscription-based future that we all have. Consumption is going to be key, right? And so a lot of those different things that we're going to talk about actually can dictate where those applications may reside uh, and will lead you to a hybrid cloud approach. And we'll get and, into that in a little bit. Yeah, and, and speed to market, right? It's all about getting your ideas to market ahead of your competition and being able to adopt, uh, again, like services from the hybrid world and not having to go through traditional development life cycles and wait um, months to bring ideas to the marketplace. People are innovating and doing things within days or weeks. Yeah, and the demand for that remote access will also grow to 2021 to twice that before pre-COVID. Uh, we'll also discuss a little bit about that too in terms of what we're seeing from end user compute adoption and how that cloud may play into that. Uh, but there's a lot of different aspects too with STDC that we'll go through because uh, the software defined data center is truly what is going to be allowing you to port over into any sort of data center that could be a hyperscaler, a private cloud, or a public cloud. But there's a lot of new technologies coming out, like uh, SD-WAN, for example, is one of those technologies that's being adopted more and more simply because of this adoption to the cloud and the way that it is able to remediate links, be able to um, connect to certain cloud gateways. There's a lot of different things that SD-WAN is even uh, uh, addressing just because of the way that the adoption is taking off. Two of the five Canadian organizations plan to incorporate some principles of zero trust as well. So because of all of this new application and users consuming applications from so many different sources, one of the biggest issues that we find is security and the hesitancy to adopt any sort of a public cloud typically resides around a few of those different topics, but security is one of those and we're going to go through that as well. Zero trust and the way that we authenticate and the way that those passwords are shared between applications is going to be a big ap uh, aspect of what we're looking at, right, Mike? Yeah, you need you need to be able to extend your uh, security model uh, beyond your traditional borders. Um, things like zero trust and SACE allow you to um, extend your security models and um, best practices beyond your traditional borders and into the cloud. <laughs> 